All right, guys, just want to try to do a quick video. <clears throat> See if we can't kick some pheasants up out of the food plot. I'm standing kind of at the back of our property here on the corner. Uh, I've kicked a ton of pheasants out of here, and I just kind of wanted to demonstrate how you plant one of these things. And, you know, obviously my target really was for ducks, but uh, a lot of the other species have been in here as well, particularly pheasants. So we'll see if we can kick something up for you. Try to get something on video here. Hey, Sadie, hunt him up. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. <laughs> this little spot only takes her a couple minutes to buzz through it, so. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Crazy. Hunt him up. Here's kind of the landing zone spot. It's all dried out now, it's actually frozen. Hunt him up. Where is he? Here's the tracks. Those are definitely rooster tracks. Well, it looks like we're not gonna kick anything up this morning. But just wanted, oh, there we go, there we go, right there. No bird, no bird. Oh, there goes another one that was on the edge. There's actually another one. I don't know if you guys caught that one. Three pheasants just buzzed out of here. Cool. God, they hang tight. Awesome, I thought this was gonna be a bust there for a second. Usually they flush a lot quicker. But three pheasants in the food plot. Just wanted to demonstrate, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Take a look down here. Look in the, look how much millet seed is just scattered all, oh, I mean, it's just incredible how much seed comes off these plants. And they're just in here, I think probably every day, gobbling the heck out of this stuff. So, good girl. Good girl. So that was cool. Well, I'm glad I caught that for you. It probably might not be the best video, uh, but it's pretty vivid evidence nonetheless. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're working on your projects, I just wanted to point out uh, you'll definitely find more than ducks in it. Talk to you later.